In this video I'm going to talk about how to get 3D model plants from Megascan inside Twinmotion. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see you later. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video I'm going to talk about adding 3D model plants from Megascan from Quixel into your Twinmotion program, okay? So uh, Megascans were acquired by Epic Games uh, like uh, more or less a year ago and um, now it, you can uh, add their uh, 3D assets uh, being plants or other things are like antiques uh, as well as surfaces, textures, everything they have that is normally a paid service, you can have them for free in your Twinmotion program, okay? And uh, before I start this video, I just want to say a quick thank you to ArcViz Inspirations. That's where I saw some tips that I'm going to use here more specifically for plants, okay? So let's just go to uh, Megascans. So basically what you need to do is when you go to Quixel Megascans is to log in with your Epic Games account, okay? And you have some pricings and after if you go further down, you have something to log in with your Epic Games account. So you have this for free to use in Twinmotion, okay? And you have here, uh, we're going to explore in future videos, other 3D assets and surfaces and things like the collections They are pretty cool. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to go to the 3D plants. Okay, so um, I'm going to uh, do this white everlasting plant. So you have a lot of variations in here in the download settings. You have the variations in terms of plant models. I normally just choose one, uh, but you can try it out. There's a different growth variations. Okay. Uh, you don't need the maximum quality because so it doesn't be so heavy in terms of the modeling. Uh, you download the model and basically you're going to open the model and extract it to your download folder. So I'm just going to go to Twinmotion and I'm going to add this plant. Okay, I'm going to add the model just to show you how once you've downloaded that model, how it's going to upload in Twinmotion, how it's going to come up. Okay. So basically, I'm going to go into import and open the folder that I've downloaded. So this is your 3D model high quality plant inside Twinmotion, okay? So as you can see, it doesn't have any texture applied. So what we're going to do is you're going to apply the albedo map into the texture. So you, you pick up the picker, okay? It selected the texture. So basically, you go to more. In, term, in color and you open and you're going to open the albedo file. So this is the file that comes when, when you downloaded the model from Megascan. Okay. So you're going to apply. You play with the opacity because maybe you thought that there was something wrong with it. And as you can see, the transparency of the texture is not there. It should be with smaller leaves, with the petals in terms of flowers, but it's not there. So this is where we're going to use uh, Photoshop to create. Basically, it's reading a JPEG and you need to transform that albedo map into a PNG uh, file. So it gives you that transparency. OK, so you're going to go to. So you open the albedo map inside Photoshop. I'm going to bring it to the opacity map as well, just like this. OK, uh, I'm going to go and do a control A to select everything. OK, I'm going to do a control C to copy. I'm going to switch it off in the background. I'm going to add a layer mask. And I'm going to go to Alt click in the layer mask and I'm going to do a control V to copy my opacity ma uh, map. OK, once I let it go, once I click, what it did is took all the background from that albedo map that I wanted. Now I'm going to save it as a PNG into my folder of textures. OK, and I go back to Twinmotion. Once you uh, have your PNG texture, and what we're going to do now is in terms in uh, open in the texture, in the color, I'm going to add that uh, PNG. OK, so you're going to see some differences here. So basically now you have the transparency, so it gives you the petals like it should be. Um, it gives you um, 
the textures like it should be okay don't forget to if you seeing it if you're still not seeing it right just for, don't forget to put the opacity mask on okay grunge is uh, some uh, noise if you want to add um, you have reflections in settings uh, the ma bump map is important as well so we're going to go to the bump map and you have here the bump okay so once it's done it's done you go back uh, and sometimes you may be you thinking you're not seeing every all the model there just don't make sure that the it's uh, two-sided okay just make sure the two-sided is on so you have the glows uh, glow as well and um, metallic but in this case it's not appropriate to get glow and metallic so right now you have your plant uh, I think it's pretty cool. You can go to the outliner, select it all. Let's check it out a little bit in a, a less noisier uh, place. Okay, so this is pretty cool. In that same folder, you have different variations in terms of size and growth. So check that out. Uh, when you download a different uh, variation, you can use this already uh, textures. Okay, so let's check that out. I'm just going to go import a different variation of the same plant okay okay so it's just a different variation from that same plant okay um, another cool trick that I've learned from the twin motion team from epic games team actually but working in twin motion is using translucent materials inside twin motion because normally the plants the vegetation you can see light coming through the leaves okay so this is a kind of a smaller example but i'm gonna try and do it here so in t if you add the picker and add color what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the translucent uh, materials the white stereo form and just just uh, apply that to the to the 3d model okay go to color in terms of generic i'm going to open again that albedo png one okay don't forget png okay so now once that is applied what you've got is you've got that png with translucent uh, capabilities okay so basically he's gonna let the light and this is a pretty trick to show you but basically he's gonna let the light through the petals like it is in the nature okay so that's pretty cool i really like that tr little trick um i think it works really well especially if you have green leaves green leafy plant models okay that works really well so that's pretty cool um and yes, you have the bump uh, that you're going to add again as well. So that's that's a, a cool little trick to 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 play around with. OK. Um, I'm going to do some uh, some um, some rendering still images from this so you can check it out. But I really like I like the the um, this little tricks that you can add in uh, in uh, twin motion. in here glow it doesn't it doesn't matter because it doesn't glow but that let translucent little trick i really like okay so i hope you enjoy it don't forget to explore mega scans you have now quite a lot of um a lot of plant material it's always very um natural and much more not so so gardening and uh, more um things that you find in in a more wild kind of environment but you have some some other stuff as well okay uh, so you can explore and you have a lot of uh, different variations in terms of sizes okay so i think that's pretty cool um but yeah explore that you have a lot of other 3d model uh, assets in the in the mega scan website and that's pretty cool i think it's a great improvement don't forget to always add 
your model okay so you don't have to do this every in every project just add to your loser library and um, add the, the name of the plant okay so uh, just to find a way to to just uh, enrich your uh, 3d model uh, library inside twin motion uh, so you don't have to have all this uh, work every time you you every time you do a project okay so there we go it's here my my model so every time now i can just uh, upload okay so that's pretty cool so i hope you enjoyed the video and i see you in the next one bye bye guys see you.